Okay, in this video we're going to run through whether budget SSD drives are worth buying. And when I say budget, this is the absolute bottom of the scale kind of drive, you know, just a basic no-name um, SSD drive that I've bought from AliExpress. This is a 2 terabyte drive and that cost me £12 including postage from AliExpress. So it's it's very much on on the cheap end of the scale and I, I will link to the drive but sort of hear me out before <laughs> before going and thinking you know what a great deal this is it's kind of like I, I just wanted to get it because I just kind of thought like how how can they offer two terabyte storage just for so little money and my first first thought was basically that it was just a hard drive enclosure with a bit of kind of a creative description saying that you know it supports two terabyte drives but um yeah essentially <laughs> I'll, I'll just pop some things over the screen while i'm talking but yeah basically like the first thing you know i plug it in and it, it basically you know it powers on and it works so that you can see if um what i'll do is just open it up so let's have a look inside the packet you know you've, you've got your you've got the box and it basically it says that it's a um, USB 3 or USB 3.1 interface so we've got essentially just that's just the packaging and then we've got the drive we've got a USB A to USB C cable that comes as part of it um, and I'll just unwrap that quickly and then we've got two ports uh, sort of two port adapters there USB port adapters one of them goes to USB-C which obviously is handy and uh, we've got one that also goes to um, micro USB which uh, could potentially be handy if you want to use it on um, you know older phones and tablets and things like that so what I did first off just sort of you know put the adapter on here I'm using a MacBook Pro so um, uh, everything's USB-C so oops, sorry I've lost the adapter so you've got to kind of use this like little silly adapter thing that that comes with it um, and with it being USB A you can never work out which way around it goes you just sort of try it multiple times um, it doesn't sit flush on there at all so it's it's not a it's not a fantastic adapter but you know it, it kind of serves a purpose it's um, it, it does sort of work so if I plug that in if I put the right one on there I've put the micro USB one on there put the USB-C adapter on and then you can see probably just about the only interface on this drive is literally just this blue light at the top and you can see if I plug it in it, it does actually kind of load up and it does work and like I said I'll just overlay a, a few little screenshots so you can kind of see it see it working and that it is actually there so it kind of passes the the first test of the fact that it, it actually does work as a drive so you know that's pretty amazing the fact that it's basically 12 pounds for a, you know a two terabyte drive and it all checks out it is two terabyte um i can use it with this usb c to usb c cable which is actually off my samsung t7 shield uh, which you know that's kind of my preferred ssd but th there's a couple of cables that didn't work with it say from my sandisk drives but um that that one did seem to work so i'd been using that rather than this kind of abomination of a cable but essentially um yeah i i ran a few that you know the next thing obviously it's a working drive it's formatted in xfat and that's uh sort of why they can say you know it, it works across mac and pc and uh you know essentially a few different sort of os's so um you know it it, it is a good working drive and then you kind of think well that's amazing i've just got a two terabyte drive for you know 12 pounds but then I sort of look at the transfer speeds. Uh, again, I, you know, I used a little bit of the cable provided. I tried it with the um, that Samsung cable to see if it made any difference. Um, again, I'll flip this up on the screen so you can take a quick look. But using the um, using the cable that kind of came with it, I, I just transferred a file that was more or less a gig, just over a gig. Uh, this is one file not a folder full of multiple files just one file one video file and that took one minute and 21 seconds for it to move over and that was more or less within a second the same for both cables so the cable made no difference the bottleneck really was on the drive end and uh, i 
I also ran it in um, the, the Blackmagic video testing tool or the drive testing tool, which, you know, you might not be interested in because you might not be storing video or anything, you know, trying to record video to it. But I just thought I'll give it a try and see how it comes off. And it, it wasn't the best, you know, it, it, I think it just about reached up to about HD video. So the the speeds in this are very, very slow. It's, um, I, I would say... You know, they're, they're advertising this as a USB 3, uh, you know, 3.0, 3.1. It's nowhere near that. I mean, USB USB 2, um, you know, they're saying this is 10 times faster than USB 2. But in, in reality, USB 2 would be delivering a 1 gig file in about 20 seconds. Um, so this really... <laughs> on the face of it, it is more like USB 1. It's it's really, really slow compared to modern drives. You know, it, I, I'm not saying it's unusable, um, you know, to, to drop some photos on or to do sort of, you know, various tasks with. It's not, but it's certainly not a USB 3 drive, <laughs> you know, but it, it's it's way off of that. Um, and then I just kind of thought, like, why, why are the speeds so slow? Where is the bottleneck? So... I was kind of messing around with it, seeing if I could kind of get into it. And then basically if you push this down and push the bottom, uh, let's see if I can do it. You can more or less, let me see if I can, there we go. You can kind of unclip it and you can pull the whole thing out. <laughs> so this is just the case. And then the inside bit is essentially just a circuit board. I'll see if I can focus on this at all so you can actually take a look at it. Um, I just keep missing focus there we go um, it's basically a circuit board and this bit here you can probably just about see it's basically just a micro SD card so it's a two terabyte micro SD card that's just been slotted into here glued in and then stuck onto a USB-C interface um, so yeah that <laughs> that is essentially the whole drive it's just a, a micro SD card um, so yeah, I mean, it's a it's a bit of a funny one really because, I mean, with with that you sort of think, well, it, if I'm going to do that, then you could just use something like a um, micro SD reader, and I mean that's you know that's just a Alexa USB C uh, sorry Alexa micro SD reader, and you know size wise it's absolutely tiny compared to this drive, but uh, I think part of the kind of idea of this drive is they sort of um th there's a couple of little misrepresentations there in the you know the i think the first sort of mistruth in there is the fact that it's usb c3 which i, I honestly just don't think it is um and then the, the, the next one i mean certainly not transfer speed wise and then the next sort of mistruth is the um it, <laughs> It's not really a mistruth, but it, it sort of leads you to believe it's something it's not. It, it kind of leads you to believe where they say M2, you sort of think, oh, OK, M2, that's sort of um, usually used for NVMe drives. You know, the M2 really just sort of is, is more the, the shape of the drive, which, you know, it does look like it, it could fit an NVMe module in there. But in reality, it's just a tiny micro SD card. So it's a, a little bit of, a, you know it's sort of alluding to something it's kind of not and you know they can claim that it's an ssd you know it's, it's a micro sd card it's got no moving parts it's a solid state drive of sorts so you know that there's nothing there's nothing untruthful about that and you know we are where we are with it is essentially this is a 12 pound device <laughs> it's you know you, you can't expect the earth i mean part of why i got it was because you know an nvme um two terabyte drive you're looking at about um i mean i'd probably say about 60 pounds for a half decent one you know and that's without the interface to actually connect it to a computer so you know the the fact that this even exists is um is something really i mean the um you really probably the the equivalent i mean i would say you know a micro sd card um you, you're not going to find a micro sd card for basically a two terabyte one for 12 pounds um and even if you did have one then you'd need to buy um i mean most of them come with those sort of sd card enclosures but even then you'd need a laptop or a pc that sort of has 
that SD card slot. Um, so you'd need to buy some kind of interface for the PC or for the Mac with it. Um, so yeah, really, you know, you couldn't, I don't think you could get a, uh, even like a, you know, a no name uh, off brand kind of card. I think you'd struggle to find a two terabyte one for um, for that kind of money. So I think that kind of the, the closest equivalent, I think really is probably, you know, if you get something like this, uh, not necessarily this one, this is a SanDisk uh, one, you know, it goes um, USB-C and USB-A, but if you've got a no-name um, USB pen or USB drive, whatever you want to call it, that's probably the closest option you could get, you know, um, you could definitely get an off-brand one of these for, you know, not that much more than £12 for a 2 terabyte one. I mean, you're not you're not really, I mean, neither of these things are going to be super reliable because they're, they're as cheap as you can get for storage, you know, so it's um, it's one of those things where uh, you, you sort of, anything that's on there, you probably want to back up twice or, um, you know, just back up things that aren't overly important to you. But, um, yeah, essentially, you know, you look at it size-wise, it's, it's probably better to just have the USB the USB pen, you know, because it's it's tiny compared to it, and it's got the interface already built into it. But um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, as I say, you know, I'm I wasn't expecting miracles for uh, for twelve pounds. It was uh, it was purely really a uh, an exercise of um, you know <laughs> what is this and how can they make it for twelve pounds? Like, how is it possible? And um, you know, now I know. I'd probably say. Um, you know, if if you don't care about the speed, um, which, you know, it is a big drive, it's a two terabyte drive, but if you don't really care about the speed and maybe you're just offloading, you know, the odd documents or photos to it, like occasionally, not in huge batches, I mean, to be honest, it's it's not too bad, you know, for, for 12 quid, you, you can't really go wrong, but like I say, there are other options out there, you know, there's USB pens that you could probably stick on your key ring that are half the size. But um, yeah, not to take away from you know what this actually offers for for twelve quid. It's it's pretty pretty remarkable, really. But it's uh, yeah, that's probably something sort of worth knowing, you know, before you start looking at these and thinking like that's amazing. It's going to be you know USB three speeds and you know have all of those kind of features. And I, I sort of bought it just to um, as a secondary backup, just for um, some video files. And you know that's going to take a while to get them onto there. But it's um, you know it, it is what it is. It's um, it, it's a workable drive, and it's it's very cheap. So you know you kind of you kind of get what you pay for with it. But um, yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.